Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an enormous, a large, a humongo, an insanely long video on my empties. I don't know, it was just been such a crazy few months. I mean, we're already into March, already in the first or second week of March, and I haven't talked about anything I used up. So, this is going to be an insanely long video. This should not be the norm, but my basket is literally overflowing. I almost have two baskets completely full of things I used up during the collab that I started, which I first have to say thank you all so much for your participation with the collab. It was so much fun. You all worked so hard making the videos, uh, listening to the prompts, everybody who joined in. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I could not have asked for a better collab. And if you still absolutely loved doing it, Catherine and Casey, the two C's, are continuing along with the collab. I am not participating. The only reason being, I have so much to get through that I need to get through with my own system. But... I'm so happy that they're continuing on with the collab journey. It was super fun. Um, we might do it again next year. I think it's a fun, like, beginning of the year thing to do. Um, work a little bit better on the low buy. Anyway, so I'm dividing this up into, obviously, candles and then melts. Because right here next to me, I have probably at least 15 candles that I got through. And I'll try to figure out what rhyme and reason I burned them in the last three months. But... Since my last video, which probably was four months ago, honestly, the last time I did a trash talk is the last time I put any candles in the recycling bin. So, I do have a ton of candles to get through. One body care item. I only finished up one body care item in the month. I might have finished a lot more. I honestly don't remember, but I just threw them away. But I saved one body care item because I knew I had to talk about it. And this is from Zape. This is from her fall slash Halloween release. And this is Boonella Scream Body Butter Sugar Scrub. You guys, this scent. Okay, so her Body Butter Sugar Scrubs, we'll start with the texture. They're not cleansing, so they're just a body scrub, which I, I enjoy because some days I love my body wash and then I just want to use like a nice deep scrub. So it's just like a very sugary scrub, but the more you scrub, the softer it gets, but then when you rinse it off, it leaves you feeling with a veil of hydration without being like a sticky residue. I love her Body Butter Sugar Scrub formula. I have a couple like Bath & Body Works body scrubs that I'm trying to use up, and I have some from the bathing garden, so I don't have any currently I'm using, but I did finish this. I love the texture, but the scent. It's, I thought it was like, basically like a vanilla scent. Oh my gosh, when you use this, the closest thing I can say it reminds me of is a cross between Bath & Body Works Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Cinnamon Sugar Donut. They're very similar candles to begin with, almost identical, but it has this cinnamony, sugary, rich vanilla bakery. And when you use this on your body, in the shower, and the hot water's going, it makes you want to go out and eat a donut. Honestly, they are such amazing scrubs and the sensorial experience I got from the Bunella Scream. I hope she comes back out with this um, next year. And I also hope that I pick it up. Well, I will be picking it up in whipped soap because I want my body to smell like this in the shower every day and not once a week when I use a scrub. So 10 out of 10. Highly recommend this Zape Bunella Scream Body Butter Sugar Scrub. It was incredible. Diving right into candles, I think I have to start with the funniest joke of a candle I've ever had in my collection. And I kind of don't even want to throw it away because it's so iconic, the, the, the mess that it is. This is the Yankee Candle 5 Wick Candle. So we know Yankee Candle, they throw anything on the wall and see if it sticks, and 9 out of 10 collections fail, because Yankee Candle just doesn't know what they're doing ever, 
it seems like. Um, they went with one jar, then they went with another, then they went with elevations, then they took away elevations, then they brought it back, then they took it away, and now it's some natural collection, but half the scents are the same. Some of them are different. They changed the lid, but it's the same jar. I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. But instead of giving stronger fragrance, they made a five wick candle. Now, I remember Philly Candleman talking about this, and he was like, this has to be a joke. Because he got it at like an outlet, it's, and then he found out it's a real thing. Okay, so look at this. Five wicks. Okay, watch me. Ready? See that blink? That's how fast this candle burned. It is so short. Here is it compared to a regular Yankee Candle tumbler. Okay? This is it compared to a Bath & Body Works candle. It is so short, you guys. And you have to realize, this is how much wax you're getting. There's like almost, almost a half an inch is just glass. There's nothing left in this candle. I did let the wick self-extinguish, but it does say on the bottom, discontinue use when half an inch of wax remains. So in reality, you're getting an inch of burn, an inch of wax to burn with five wicks. And the marketing on this is saying something like, oh, ambiance. This is a joke. And I know I'm controversial on YouTube, apparently. Um, I don't care if I'm controversial. Um, this is a joke. Like, this is literally telling consumers, like, we know you guys are upset that you don't get performance, but instead we're going to make something crazy. A five-wick candle. It's not, honestly, it's not even that big. Like, compared with diameter to a, to a Bath & Body Works candle, it's not that much bigger. Could you imagine a Bath & Body Works candle with five wicks? Like, I don't know. It's just a joke. And the best part is, this is mango ice cream. You can't even smell it. I mean, they're not even trying to say it's stronger or anything, so this is a total fail, and it's $26.50 for, and it even says on here, I think, it doesn't say the burn time, but I believe it's like something like 15 to 20 hours. I mean, it's a joke. Not, not only is it a joke, it's a fire hazard having a jar with that much flame in it. Yeah. Totally dumb. Um... All the Yankee candles that I had this go around were horrible. I finished a Pink Sands in the signature line. I know I like raved about the signature line because at first it was good, and now it just stinks. But it was super, super sooty. Um, I only had luck with two candles out of all these. By the way, I have to come to realize candles just don't perform in my home. And if I want to burn candles to get a throw, I have to burn them in my bathroom. And my bathroom is so small, it gets so sooty. So, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with my candle collection. I don't know if I'm going to, like, sell it off or if I'm going to save them until I move, which hopefully is in the next year. Um, hoping to move into a bigger place and just hopefully burn more candles and hopefully I get a throw. But this open concept, unless I burn, like, five candles, I'm not getting a throw. So I now pair candles with whatever I'm melting. So this is Pink Sands. Yankees, I only burn for ambiance, like this Velispa candle, I only burn for ambiance because they just don't throw. I love Pink Sands as a scent, but I didn't get a throw. Cliffside Sunrise from Yankee. It's a nice fruity scent. Also, no throw. Ooh, this one from Yankee is their signature line. This is their new signature line, and in the jars, super sooty. And about this far, you can see where the residue really starts. It just, like, gets super, super low flames. I've actually had to exchange, like, three candles because they just do not perform. And this one is in a sugar cinnamon apple. It was okay. Again, you can't smell it. I burned this strictly for ambiance because I have a shelf of Yankee jars, and I could not fit this last jar once I reorganized for the life of me, and I'm like, I'm just going to burn it. Not like I could smell it anyway. Which is brew. It's just straight up patchouli. It actually burned really nice with an Aluma lid, and I literally never got through once. And it's it's like a strong scent. I mean, it's patchouli just rebranded for Halloween, but, oh my god, I didn't get any throw from it. And then Yankee Candle Cherries on Snow. I remember burning this when I melted that Salt Mountain Melt scent that I just did not like, that Champagne Problems. It might be in here honestly, in this melting basket, um, or empties video, 
because that cherry was like medicinal and it said it had cherries on snow in it. I love cherries on snow and this did not smell like it. And this performed pretty well. This is from 2020? Yeah, 2020 before they changed. So yeah, I actually really liked this candle. It's not the one that I think performed great. It just, I like that scent. All right, I finished from a little independent company, Sway Candles. These little size jars I like to burn in my bathroom. This is in just straight up vanilla. I love the way that their candles burn. Um, it's just a wood wick, but like I said, I just don't have good luck with candles anymore. I finished two from Candles by Victoria. This one is Caramelized Pralines, and this one is Country Berry Hotcakes. As you can see, they both burn really great, as all of her candles do for me. Um, and I actually can smell these little candles. Now, granted, they're not going to fill up my entire apartment because they're little, but I always get good performance from Candles by Victoria's Candles. And then the last one, besides Bath & Body Works, let me just, I'm going to pull a Jessica D. Slow clap for Kringle. Wow, wow, wow. Kringle candles burn so well. This new soy formula, chef's kiss. Love the soy formula. This is a two-wick jar. Can we talk about this? There's a teeny bit of residue that comes with soy wax, naturally. All the way down. No discoloration. And this throw in Crimson Park, I did burn it in my bathroom because I wanted to give it a chance. From top to bottom, this just smelled like you walked into Central Park on a crisp fall day where you're wearing a hoodie and jeans and you're wearing like a really nice fall cologne that's not super masculine, but it doesn't lean feminine either. It's just a really nice cologne on a crisp fall day. Uh, this is a medium I got free with an order. Um, yes, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, but this is just like a regular promo code when you order. It's like a free medium Crimson Park candle with any purchase. So I do have a large, which I'm really excited to save for next year. And I know that like soy wax, the longer it cures, the better it gets. So I'm hoping even next year it's even stronger. I, I really, really, really like this candle and the wicks, like I said, all the way down. I do trim these wicks. I know they say you don't have to. I just trim the little carbon deposit on the bottom or on the top and it burned really well. All right, let's do some Bath & Body Works candles. I finished a single wick in Tree Farm. I finished a single wick in Crushed Candy Cane. And I finished a single wick in Vanilla Bean. All of these, no throw. I never get throw from single wicks. I literally just grabbed one to burn for ambiance at night. And yeah, so that was it. Um, the scents are okay. I finished Vanilla and Peach Tea from last year. I actually really like this scent. This is peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, and fresh oat milk. The oat milk adds this like tanginess to the peach. I have a backup of this. I really like this scent. Twisted Peppermint. I burned this like during the holidays, but it's okay. I didn't get as strong of a performance as I wanted from this. This is last year's version. A real big bummer. I have one backup of this. I love this scent. Sweet Rosemary Vanilla. The notes are fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake, and whipped frosting. It just smelled like a cinnamony, sugary vanilla, but the burn was horrific. It was such a low burn. I didn't get any throw from it. Yeah, I mean, if I stuck my nose over the candle, I barely even got like a light cinnamon cake. That was it. So I probably will exchange my other one. We'll see. Strawberry Pound Cake. I always burn this when I melt, um, when I melt strawberry pound cake blends. Love it. It burned all the way down. I got a backup of it. I love strawberry pound cake. I mean, what's not to love about strawberry pound cake? It's one of my favorites. And last but not least, from the Valentine's Day collection, I burned this, as you saw in the background, on Valentine's Day. We are on the week of Valentine's Day. And this is BU, which is bubbly rosé, which is pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, and a splash of cranberry juice. This is like champagne toast, but with an added cranberry. I enjoy the scent. I don't love the scent, but it's like, okay, it was cute for Valentine's Day, and it was something to burn during that time. I know this stuff seems fast, but I, I know this video is 
it has to be an hour long. I'm just filming the candles now. I'm going to recycle all these, and then I'm going to bring over my giant bins of wax molds. So those are my candles. Let me know what candles you finished out this week, or this month, or this four months, three months, however long. So many months of uh, burning candles that I burned through. Yeah, let me know what worked for you, what didn't work, what were some ones that you definitely need to try. I placed an order with Kringle for the spring line. They sent me some spring candles, so I'll do that in a combined big haul and review when those come in the mail. It's been, I think, like a week, so they should ship soon. Uh, yeah, awesome. I'm going to go put these away, and with the magic of TV, these guys are just all mixed up. They were part of the collab. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory as to what vendor week I pulled them in for the most part, but otherwise I'm just going to grab and pull. So I see I have a Scentsy Bar in Best Berry. I know I did this during Valentine's Day. It was nice. It's like a very fruity berry scent. I'm not spending a lot of time on every single one because I would be here forever. I have two clams in Appealing Apple, which was the scent of the month. It's nice. It's like a very fruity, fresh, crisp apple scent. Oh, Petal Pals, also from the Valentine's Day collection. I did this one with the Best Berry. It was okay. It reminded me like of a Lush scent. Um, I have some from K's. I have Pink Marshmallow World, Pink Sugar, Marshmallow, and Peppermint Stick. I don't get great performance from K's. It's in my home. That's not everybody's home, but... I just don't get performance from K's. Sugar Cookie Crunch. It's like a nice, rich vanilla sugar cookie. Hazelnut Coffee. Wanted to love this because I really like it. It's like a very nice, creamy, creamy coffee scent. But I did not get any throw. And I tried tea lights and everything. I finished from Super Tarts, Chrissy's Remains. And this is Jaws with, I want to say, is this bubble gum? Or not bubble gum, like candy floss, like cotton candy. Either way, the Jaws comes through so much. Everything from Super Tarts I've got so far, super, super strong. Can't wait to continue Super Tarts. This, super disappointing. This is from L3. This is I one of my customs. I never filmed my customs haul. It was just during a super busy time, and yeah, I, I never ended up getting to film it. But anyway, this is Jo Malone counter, and I mixed three of her Jo Malone dupes that I love. Pomegranate Noir, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and Lime Basil Mandarin. I did not get a single ounce of throw, and I did this entire bag in all of my warmers, and I didn't get any throw from it, so I was pretty disappointed with that. Um... Oh, I have Woof Wicks. I also don't get performance from Woof Wicks Wax. Um, I don't have anything left in my collection from them either. I finished Butter Bear, and that is chestnuts, brown sugar, and cornbread. And I finished Pug Rolls, and this is honey buttered cinnamon rolls and cotton candy. Love the packaging. I just do not get the performance. I finished from The Pharmacist's Daughter, Apple Blondie, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Oh, this was called Poison Apple. Um, I also don't get performance from The Pharmacist's Daughter. This is a puppy clamshell from Woof Wicks in Trick or Treat. This was like some sort of like pumpkin spice bakery, cinnamon sugary scent. Um, also did not get performance from this. I have a couple scent shots from Candles by Victoria. I did a week of just her scent shots in my bathroom, and I got awesome performance. I just pop one in a hot plate, and I get great performance. This one is White Ginger. It's like a very fresh and clean scent. Papaya Water Lily. Really love this. This is just a very, like, it's definitely watery, but the papaya... Oh, just adds a really clean, clean freshness. These are all, like, pretty clean. Shamrock Kiss. This reminds me a little bit of, like, Irish Spring. Soap. I like it, though. And it, it, it performed really well. Gain Island Fresh. I don't love Gain, so I just wanted to use this up. It definitely lasted, like, almost two days. Bath Time with Pooh. That's a dupe for her Honey, I Wash the Kids. I really like this. It smells just like the Lush scent. It's like a toffee, honey, delicious scent. And then I finished cantaloupe. Also love this. Mm, I love like a honey melon scent in wax. <gasps> I finished a little scent shot. This was like in a mystery box from VCS in Martha and Snoop. I will stop and talk about the scents that just like blew me out of the water. This scent, you guys, 
This is fantastic. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and brown sugar. I popped the whole scent shot in my warmer, and I did this by my bed. I had the best dreams that night. It was like so good, so ooey gooey, rich, decadent. The zucchini bread is that creamy, rich zucchini bread. Love, love that. I would say I will repurchase it. I mean, I will. I have so much of this. I think I have like blossom bars, loaves, shapes. All sorts of, all sorts of things. Two scoops from L3. One I definitely know I mixed with something. I don't exactly remember what, but as I dig through, I'll find it. Strawberry pound cake, vanilla cookies, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla bean noel. I don't love scoops. I've talked about this before, but I want this in a loaf. The vanilla cookies really brings out the sweetness of strawberry pound cake and makes it even more decadent bakery. And vanilla butter fudge, I just and I just realized I love that scent oil. So good. So, so, so good. I wonder if vanilla bean noel, like if I take it out and like do a custom, if I'll notice it, but I doubt it. Vanilla bean noel, you don't really notice. Oh, it's so good. This was um I got this in June and I used this, I like I said, I added it to Oh, I added it to strawberry pound cake butts because the vanilla cookies oil is actually really, really strong. Mm, this is so yummy. Speaking of this, watermelon, cucumber, salty sea air, and green clover and aloe. I use this in my bathroom. It took me like two weeks on and off melting this in my bathroom. I love this. The watermelon, slightly Jolly Rancher, but with salty sea air, green clover, aloe, and cucumber, it just made it this fresh scent that's just... Yeah, I need this in a loaf, too. I'm definitely going to request this in a loaf. So, so, so good. It just made my bathroom smell like a five-star hotel. Like, if you walked into a five-star hotel and you just walked in the door, if it smelled like this, you'd be like, this is like an amazing hotel. Ah, love. And if I had this in a loaf, I would definitely want to try it in my whole apartment because I got great performance from that. Really liked that. From L3, I finished a loaf in White Elephant Exchange Blackberry Lemon Curd. This was the Pride Loaf. I liked this. I definitely don't think it's a repurchase. Um, White Elephant Exchange, to me, just, like, mellows out a lot of scents. Sometimes it's good. This one, it was just okay, melting. I didn't get great performance from it. I do not get great performance from L3. Like, I get what most people get. I get a couple hours out of it. And for the price, I mean... You really, you really can't beat it. Next, we have, also from L3, this was a Bitty Betty Loaf in Lavender Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I cut this up into pieces and did this by my bed. It was nice. It kind of leans herbal lavender, but mixed with the Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, it made it really, really sweet. Typically with my melt time, my nighttime melts, I don't know if I just get used to it at night, but like I smell it while I watch TV, drift off to sleep. Sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night to like use the restroom or get a sip of water or something, I may smell it. Chances are I already can't smell whatever it is in my warmer. The Martha and Snoop, I definitely could, but like this, like by the time I woke up in the morning, it was already gone. I finished my custom from K's. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. I love this scent. The Palo Santo is such a good smoky Palo Santo. Mixed with the marshmallow fireside. And the pumpkin pecan waffles is so good. I just also did not get performance. And I did two cubes in each of my eight warmers. Hot plates, halogens, everything. I just did not get great performance from it. And I do not like the mica. So, there's that. All right, next from Britta's, I did Edward's Cookie Cutters. Peanut butter cookies, banana walnut cake, and Mrs. Claus's cookies. This was strange. This smelled like a very, almost like the peanut butter cookie was burnt. And I think, I talked about this before when I like put it in my melting basket. The peanut butter, like I said, I don't get much banana from it. I mean, I smell banana, it's not prominent. But I did not enjoy the peanut butter cookie note. Um, or pe beware the purple peanut butter. I do still want to try. Um, maybe if I get a chance to. But if it's like the same as this peanut butter cookies, I probably won't like it. I did not like the peanut butter cookie note in it. Next is from Rose Girls. And this is Strawberry Slurp. 
strawberry jam, cereal killer, sugar milk, and Rice Krispie treats. I talked about in my video, I do not care for sugar milk in any wax. It just comes off across, across as sour to me. And this one kind of leaned towards that like sour milk. But I do like her regular cereal killer blend. And while I'm on the topic of Rose Girls, I'm going to put this down. And I, I want to talk to you guys for just a quick second. I'm sure you're aware of what happened over the past few weeks with Rose Girls. That is not how I ever wanted a situation to happen. I was very disappointed by the outcome and by the whole entire situation. I definitely feel like that should have been a private discussion between Jenny and I, but obviously it, that did not happen. I continue to purchase Rose Girls because I love the blends. I'm very open, honest, and transparent on my channel about performance issues that I have with Rose Girls in my home. I share all the time how much I love the Rose Girls blends, how much I really enjoy them. I would not continue to purchase or have a large collection if I did not. And I ask you all to give me feedback on what works, what doesn't work. I have hot plates, I have halogen bulbs, etc. I've discussed all this in my previous videos, and I share in my videos how much I love Rose Girls, and I continue to enjoy my Rose Girls wax, and I will continue to review Rose Girls wax on my channel. And last, I also want to discuss the Customer Creations blends. I apologize if I upset anybody with my thoughts on the Customer Creations blends, specifically the Betty White blend. Um, I'm not exactly sure who came up with it, but I apologize if you were upset by the way that I described the blend. It just was not for me, and that's, that's that. I apologize for that, but Otherwise, I will continue to enjoy my Rose Girls collection because I really enjoy her wax. Next, from the pharmacist's daughter, I have a loaf in beans and cream. I only have two cubes, like two chunks left of this. It is Coffee House Marshmallow Sweet and Creamy and Coconut Shortbread Cookies. I enjoy this scent a lot. Um, I just, like I said, I do not get performance from pharmacist's daughter in my house. Same with French Lemon Tart. I enjoyed the scent. It is Lemon Chiffon Pie Crust. French Custard and Lemon Sugar. I melted through so much. This is from VCS, or Vintage Chic Scents, Pumpkin Pecan, uh, Jackie O's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So it's her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, blended with her Jackie O, which is like her signature vanilla marshmallow blend. I enjoyed this. It just took Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and really creamed it up a lot. I have a lot of Rose Girls next, just because this is like uh, my Rose Girls week. This is Japanese Cherry Blossom and White Clouds. This was from a Kahuna box. I use this in my bathroom. I don't like Japanese Cherry Blossom, so I just wanted to use it up. It performed okay in my bathroom. Nog Champa Clothes on the Line. I also don't care for Nog Champa at all. Uh, mixed with Clothes on the Line, it, it toned it down a little bit, but not a fan of Nog Champa. I finished two chunk muffins in black cherry pineapple upside down cake. Black cherries and pineapple upside down cake. These were given to me. I don't like cherry scents in the wax. Oops. Next we have from L3. This is Sweet on Paris Strawberry Pound Cake Vanilla Birch. This was in a Bitty Betty. I loved this. I feel like the vanilla birch is a lot mellow in this blend than I've noticed in a lot of blends, and the strawberry pound cake and the Sweet on Paris really shine through. It's a very creamy strawberry, leaning towards body care, but I really do enjoy it. This is the strawberry pound cake bunts from L3 that I mixed with that scoop, so I finished two bunts in that. A whole loaf from L3 in Strawberry Jam Fresh Picked Strawberries. I like her Strawberry Jam Fresh Picked Strawberries. It was okay. It was just like an extra super rich strawberry. Ooh. That was good. They're on top of each other. Two puppy packs from L3 in Sugared Apple. This is a Yankee Candle dupe. I don't get performance from the Yankee Candle scent. I did not get any performance from this either. Super sad about that because I really do like the scent. Also from L3, another puppy pack, Fresh Pick Strawberry, Island Margarita, and Bum Bum, or Boom Boom, sorry. This is weird. Um, I'm not sure if it's her margarita oil or what. I don't know. It was just, it was very, very salty. 
Ooh, from Rose Girls, this is the Olive Branch Clothes on the Line, and if you see a lot of clothes on the line, it was from her Clothes on the Line sampler. They were two chunks. I did one in a hot plate and one in a tea light in my bathroom that entire week. Changed it out every day. And I would say 9 out of 10 I got good performance from. This one I did. I love the Olive Branch. I love how creamy and rich the Olive Branch is, and mixed with Clothes on the Line. It was nice. Morning Sex Clothes on the Line. This is Bay. I love her morning sex scent. It's a very fresh, aquatic morning time, just wake you up scent without being like citrusy. I really like this and I hope that she pours this again because I definitely will pick up some more of that. This is Baby It's Cold Outside from Rainbow Melts. Spearmint, peppermint, and pink sugar. It smells like every other peppermint sugar, like pink peppermint scent. It was okay. I finished from Destination Wax Chocolate Covered Strawberries. This is Dark Chocolate and Fresh Strawberries. I didn't smell a ton of straw or dark chocolate in this. I found that it was more strawberry forward. I enjoyed it. Lost Cherry Tom Ford type from L3. This was a puppy pack. I don't like this scent. Um, I thought I did, but on warm, I did this whole puppy pack in my bathroom. It just it came off way too perfumey. I finished two chunk muffins from Rose Girls in Dutch Apple Pecan French Toast. Warm Dutch Apple Pie, Pecans, and French Toast. I did not get performance from this. I did two chunk muffins cut in fours in my big open concept. I did not get throw from that one. From Rainbow Melt, I did um, Strawberry Pound Cake, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Not much more to say there. It's like a pretty simple blend. Smelled both. From Rainbow Melts, I did What the Elf, Maple Pancakes, Cola, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Mm -mm, I did not care for that at all. From L3, this is Saturday Morning Cartoons. It says this scent is made up of a combination of all our favorite cereals and milk. I got that sugar milk scent in there. Did not care for that. From Teddy Bees, I finished Winterfell, and this is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This I have in a souffle, and this was poured on 1027 of 2021. I did not get any throw. I cut this into eight pieces because I know people tell me that Teddy Bees performs well if you cut them into smaller pieces, and I did them in my hot plates, my halogens, and my scentsies. I did, could not smell it at all. So please let me know, how do you melt your Teddy Bees? I watched Just Jenny's video this morning, and she said her stuff from this pre-order doesn't perform well either, but her stuff from before that had almost a year of cure time is really going well. So she said her stuff performs really well with a really long cure time. If that's more the case, please let me know. More, more wax in my warmer less wax in my warmer, I really want to know. I really want to experiment with a loaf, cutting it into half, and then like trying it out different ways to see what works best, but I love the scent. I just did not get any performance, and I have a huge order coming soon, so I definitely want to know, like, do I just box it up and let me know what you think, or like, let it cure for like almost a year? I'll do whatever. I just want to get performance because I love her blends. L3 Waxy Wonders, this is just plain white elephant exchange, powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. I said it's just like a, a very basic vanilla scent. I don't know, vanilla doesn't do anything for me. This does. Fizzy Pot from L3. This loaf, I cut it in half, and I chopped up the half, and I typically can get two melts out of a loaf. I cut each loaf into 16 pieces, eight warmers, two uses. This lasted two days. Like, the one time, two days. Her fizzy pop is so strong. I do prefer her frosty fizzy bubbly, which is more of like a ginger ale scent. I much prefer that over fizzy pop, but boy, was that strong. Another pharmacist daughter, this is Hole in One. This is zucchini bread, blackberry jam, and jelly donut. I like this. I got some scent from it. I definitely could smell it. It wasn't super strong, but I do really enjoy the blend. I finished up my Jumbo Loaf from Vintage Chic Scents in Jackie O's Palo Santo and Chestnuts and Brown Sugar Cupcakes. I raved, raved, and raved about how much I absolutely adore this scent. Love everything about it. Definitely a repurchase when she pours it again. Oh, it's so good. Pharmacist Daughter, this is called Drew's Love for Pumpkin. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Pumpkin Souffle. Didn't get much from this one either. 
McBoo from VCS, one of my favorites. This is Gooey Marshmallows, Campfire Marshmallows, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Frosted Grahams. The blend of the toasty marshmallow, the Palo Santo, and the graham crackers, fire. 10 out of 10. Love it. Every single time. I think I have a blossom bar in it. This is great in the fall time, but I had like one like heart or something that I just wanted to use for VCS week. I finished from Brita's Blending is the Secret, Chestnuts and Brown Sugar and Animal Crackers. I cut this in half, did this next to my bed. It was okay. I didn't really enjoy it that much. From, oh, this is from VCS. This is Eldeweiss. I don't know, or Eldeweiss. I don't know exactly what the scent description is. This is from 2017. This was a snowflake. It was okay. I didn't get great performance from it, but this is 17 to 18, 18, 19, 20, 20, like five years old. So I think her stuff definitely lasts years, but five years is pushing it. I cut this into thirds and did it in three tea lights. So much wax. This is another Bitty Betty in Georgia Peach Raspberry Whip and Don't Cross Streams. I enjoyed this. The peach came across a little bit cat pee when I melted it though. So on cold, I liked it. On warm, not so much. Oh, oh, my bags are falling. So, like, guys, I'm not even close to being done. <laughs> this one is Humperdink, Lord of Misrule, Vanilla B. Noel. This was four fluta tarts. I cut it into, I dropped it. I cut it into eight pieces, each fluta tart in half. I got zip from that. I didn't smell it at all, which made me really sad because I really like um, Lord of Misrule. From Rose Girls, this is Beach Bonfire, Campfire Marshmallows, Vanilla Lace, and Marshmallow Fireside. I really enjoyed this. I like Vanilla Lace. I did this by my bed. It, it performed okay. I did Cindy Lou Who from Zape. This is Peppermint Vanilla Bean and Pink Sugar Crystals. This is just like, again, a pink sugar blend. This was a cake. I did not get performance from it, though, unfortunately. This is from Britta's. This is Necess Necessity of Life is Cookies. Gingerbread, Hansel and Gretel's House, and Mrs. Claus's Cookies. It's just like a cookie scent. This was four little pumpkins. I did it in four warmers. I didn't get performance from it. I, I really struggle with Brita's. This is a repeat loaf. This one is Lavender Lemonade. This is Pink Lemon and Lavender. Pink Lemonade and Lavender from Pharmacist Daughter. This was just strange. I did not enjoy that. Ooh, okay. Hold on. This scent from Rose Girls, I did two chunk muffins in my main space, making bread in cookie land. Love. This is fresh baked bread, baked zucchini bread, cookies, donuts, and toffee butterscotch pretzels. This threw like a 9 out of 10. Super strong. I love a good yeasty scent. Mixed with her cookie land. Really, really enjoyed that one. This one, I oh, here's the other one. This is another two muffins from Rose Girls. This is Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting, Warm Cookies, Marshmallow Fireside Cream Cheese Frosting. This was okay. It didn't perform super, super well. Um, it was just like a, a really rich sugar cookie scent, in my opinion. Oh, I wish I bundled them together. This one is Goodnight Moon from Rose Girls as well. Another chunk muffin. This is Pink Sugar Peppermint Sweet Lavender Birthday Cake. This was nice. I did it before bed, so I, I smelled it as I drifted off to sleep, and then that was it. It was nice, though. Oh my goodness. So many. Okay. So both of these I know I have two of, but they're buried. This is Lover, All Nighter, and Stainless Steel. I was surprised I did not get great performance from this. Um, typically with fresh scents from Rose Girls, I definitely can smell them more. I didn't get that from it. This one I did, Blueberry Vanilla Sugar Bread. Blueberry Cobbler Brown Sugar Vanilla Bean Zucchini Bread. I really like this. I love a good, rich blueberry bakery. This is Daughter. This is Cranberry Woods Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo. I did this um, as a custom. I did not care for it. Cotton Candy Clothes on the Line from the Rose Girl Sampler. This was good. It was just a very, very sweet laundry. It does always are super interesting to me, the like sweet laundries. I did from Destination Wax in my bathroom, Honey Toffee. This is a dupe for the um, Honey I Wash the Kids. Love, love Destination Wax. Blueberry Vanilla Sugar Bread I talked about already. Oh, Lover already talked about. This is Fluffy Towels on the Line from um, Rose Girls. 
Her fluffy towels oil, I cannot find the fluffy towels oil that smells exactly like Yankees. This was just really sweet. I wish it was more of that, like, fluffy towels oil. I, I just cannot find it. This is from Sugar Melts by Stacy. I did not do a haul yet on her because I really just want to try it out before I haul it. These were two of the same samples in Raspberry Twinkie. I did not get performance. Um, I'm not making a video yet because I only melted these. It was two little hearts, and I did them in my open concept, but I couldn't smell them. But that's not giving her a fair chance, so I'll wait to melt more. I did coconut clothes on the line from Rose Girls. This was nice. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, though. Kissing by the clothes on the line, I liked this a lot. It was also like a very aquatic, watery laundry scent. It was good. Rainbow Road, two chunk muffins from Rose Girls, lime jello, strawberry soda, and blonde moment, which is like a fizzy um, raspberry champagne. I enjoyed this. It was definitely super, super fruity. I did Circus Concession. This is Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, co Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. Like an apple, you know, Circus Concession type of scent. It's a really good bakery. I have like five mini muffins on that, so I'm set with that one. Regular Cookie Land from Rose Girls. Confetti Cake, Toffee Butterscotch Pretzels, and Cookies like a yeasty, delicious bakery blend. And then peppermint and lavender coconut milk. I enjoyed this at bedtime. It's just a very, very, very creamy lavender with a hint of peppermint. I finished from Scentsy. Oh, I definitely think I have two of these, maybe. This is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This is like a aquatic, sweet, watery scent. If you're familiar with Hibiscus Waterfalls from Bath & Body Works, that's pretty similar. Plumeria Peach. This is nice. I enjoy this. It's like a super sweet peach scent with a little bit of like strawberry. Oh, another Petal Pals. I did that. From the Melted Mousse, I did Maple Rolls, Honey Butter Rolls, and Glazed Maple. This, I mean, I definitely think it's, I'm gonna, not sure what I'm gonna do with her scent shots. I have a lot of bakery scent shots, which I really don't want to melt in my bathroom because they're very heavy bakery, but one is not going to fill my open concept. I could not smell this at all in my open concept, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I, I really want to enjoy them. I might just end up saying, screw it and do it in my bathroom. Oh, okay, so from VCS, I did Lovely Lydia, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. That's the Bath & Body Works dupe. It's just a very creamy vanilla to me. Collectible Lunchbox from VCS. Love. Raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. I helped create this one with Kirby. So good. It's like a peanut butter and jelly, sub, sub grape jelly for raspberry, and put it on zucchini bread. Heaven. Sweeney's. Do I need to talk about it? I see a lot of you don't enjoy Sweeney's. I love it. Everybody's different. This is What Baking Can Do, another scent that she came up with for me. This is for my waitress, my love of waitress. Orange Juice Dreamsicle Cake topped with whipped cream. Love it. Super rich orange cakey notes. This one is Satsuma Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. I love this. The Satsuma, super, super strong. But when I melted it, more of the laundry came out. So I enjoyed that. This I did not enjoy. This is from L3. This is peanut butter and berry grape jelly. Oh, it smelled like medicine. Central Park Snow, Glo Snow Globe from VCS. This is Peppermint Cream Noel. That was a nice bedtime scent, like a very creamy peppermint. Destination Wax, Orang, Champagne, Peaches, and Vanilla. Just like a very champagne-y, rich, with a hint of peach. It was really, really yummy. Peppermint Stick from K's, no performance. Um, Cocoa Lime from Scentsy, I mixed this with Pink Cotton, a cube of each. Love, 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 love that. Bonfire Beach from Scentsy, this is like Marshmallow Fireside, but with salty sea air. It's a really unique blend, I really enjoy that. This is from Rose Girl, this is Fierce Morning Sex. Fierce Abercrombie type and Morning Sex, I have like a little piece of it, I'm not sure why, so that's gonna go in my melted pile. I enjoyed that. Elves Who Brunch from Zape. Oh, this is rough. Buttermilk pancakes, maple syrup, toast, eggs, and bacon. It legit smelled like you were at the McDonald's drive through at breakfast. Sausage, bacon, eggs, all of it. Peppermint Marshmallow from K's. Robin from Super Tarts. 
stand out. Really, really, really enjoy this. This is fresh cut grass and strawberry. I wasn't sure on cold, but on warm, I did this in my bathroom, two cubes in my bathroom. Filled it up the entire day into the next day. The fresh picked strawberries mixed with the grass. The, the combination was just out of this world. Another Plumeria Peach from Scentsy. Man with the Hands. This was just bizarre. Snow Witch, Icy Peppermint, and Hot Apple Pie from Britta's. Did not like that. Pink Peppermint from Destination Wax. I did not enjoy this. Pink Sugar Blender, Peppermint, and Vanilla. Her Pink Peppermint, I don't know. I like a little more sweet, and I feel like her peppermint was just a little too strong. The Pink Cotton that I talked about that I mixed with Cocoa Lime. Banana Berry. I did two of these because... One was like super discolored. It's bananas and berries. Not much more to talk about with that. Oh, here it is. Salt Mountain Melt Champagne Problems. Cherries on Snow and Bubbly Champagne with Vanilla Bean Noel. No, I did not like that. The, um, the, cha the cherries on snow was just bizarre. Holiday Snooze from Rainbow Melts. Uh, lavender, Vanilla, Christmas Tree, and Garden Mint. Mm, no. Hawaiian Tropic Suds from VCS. This was strange, too. This is laundry, sugar, fluffy marshmallows, and Hawaiian Tropic Lotion. It's like clean laundry meets suntan lotion. It was interesting. Not a favorite. Another Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze from Scentsy. Pumpkin Chai Pods from Scentsy. I have pods in my um, Scentsy air purifier. I really don't feel like you smell the pods with them, so I think that system's a little broken, but... We'll see. Sugared strawberry from Scentsy, I love. It's like, like a, again, a very, very sugary, artificial strawberry scent, but I can get that from vendors. Santa Claus from Super Tarts. Eggnog, cinnamon liqueur, Christmas cookies, and nutmeg. This was nice. A lot going on in it, though. Definitely very cinnamony. From VCS, Loomis. I did not like this. Pumpkin, coconut, and clove on a base of dark bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. I talked about it before. It just smells a little stale. I'm going to hold the basket here because I have a lot. <gasps> Sweet plum pastry. You know I love this. Uh, I have like 40 bars of it. Always will have it on hand. Sweet plum pastry is the best. Another sweet plum pastry. Oh, another sugar strawberry from Scentsy. Aloe water and cucumber. I think I have it. Two of those. Yep. Two aloe water and cucumbers. I will always have this. Also love this. It's like a very, very... The aloe is sweet, aquatic, and then the hint of pineapple nectar. Mm, that's so good. Spring forward from Scentsy. Two clams of this. This is interesting. It's like fresh spring flowers and cedar wood. I don't know. I not not a super big fan of that one. I finished from VCS L, which is toasted Eggo waffles smeared with cinnamon sugar butter. This uh, this did this smells exactly like Eggo waffles with cinnamon sugar butter. No no syrup, just like a toasted waffle. Another circus concession from Rose Girls. The holiday from VCS. This is blackberry jam butter cookies and cupcakes at Tiffany's. I really like this. I liked the combination of the blackberry jam butter cookies with it. Moon Spice Cookie from Destination Wax. Love, love this so much. Sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. Such a great coffee combination. The Warrens from VCS. This is great too. Glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider, topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. It smells like just a very rich cider lane. Another Bonfire Beach from Scentsy. Another Banana Berry from Scentsy. Amity Island from Super Tarts. This is Jaws with... Is this the one with laundry? I can't remember exactly what it's mixed. Oh, Rosemary. Or spearmint. One of the two. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's definitely rosemary. I want to say it's rosemary. I enjoyed that in the bathroom. Destination Wax Quickie Wedding. Fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. I love. I have a loaf of that. Super, super yummy. Black Flame Candle. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Gooey Marshmallows and Campfire from VCS. I like that. I love Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, though. 
Destination Wax Coffee Espresso Macchiato. So happy I have this in a loaf. This is rich espresso, sweet, rich espresso sweetened with a dash of steamed milk. Love. This is crazy. It is espresso. It's steamed milk, and that's it. It's not super sweet. The only sweetness you get is from the milk. It smells like a very authentic, true espresso. It's it's so good. I'm so glad to have a loaf in that. Pistachio pudding cake from Candles from the Keeping Room. Love. Make sure you melt your candles from the Keeping Room in a hot plate warmer. You'll get great performance that way. Another circus concession from Rose Girls. I think I melted that two different times. Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls from L3. Always a favorite. Always love. The best, best rich strawberry bakery I've ever smelled. It's so good. From Woof Wicks, a single clam in coffee at the apple orchard. I mean, you really couldn't tell. Next is a brick of coconut lemongrass from Sensi. I didn't do this all at once or like in sessions. I do a half a cube of this in my kitchen. Well, like, in my kitchen area, because it's all, like I said, it's a studio, so it's all open concept. Um, whenever I, like, melt something or cook something, aka heat it up, and I can still smell the food and I want to get that scent out, I will pop this in the, in the warmer for the night and, like, it clears out the air. Or if I attempt to cook something and I burn it, which that's the only way it does for me. I have a big scent shop from Swanky. The only Swanky I own, I definitely want to order from her next pre-order. I have serious FOMO seeing all these hauls, but this one was in Marshmallow Cloud and Cotton Candy Frosting. Somebody gave this to me, and I like it. I just feel like this is such a boring scent to know if I like a blender or if I like the vendor or not, so definitely want to order. And last but not least, my first ever thing I melted from Sassy Girl Aroma date night. Love! This is sweet strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and peach nectar. I'm gonna do a... I was gonna do a Catherine King and sniff the bag, but it dropped, and this video is probably an hour long, so I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Um, love date night. I have like three... two brittles here in my storage, and I just ordered three from the pre-order, so cannot wait to get more date night on my hands. That's another good perfume, but I already have some, and I ordered lilacs in a vase and perfume because Julie added it for me. But I don't want to keep you guys any longer. So, ready? Super fast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that notification bell, that way you're alerted anytime I upload a video here on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys soon. You matter, and I love you all so much. Bye, guys.